Who doesn't love toys? I grew up loving toys, and when I found out that there was a massive toy company in the middle of downtown Toronto, I had to check it out. I'm at Canada's Spin Master Toy Lab, where I've met engineer Vanessa Raponi. Oh, that is so fun! And today, we're going to design something super cool. Oh my goodness. This is where I'm about to go off limits. So right now we're at Spin Master, a global children's entertainment company that was actually founded in Canada. It's awesome. We get to work with kids and create content and toys for them all around the world. So basically I'm a toy engineer, which yes, is as cool as it sounds. We work with designers who create the idea of the toy and we help bring them to life. One of Vanessa's big projects is Spin Master's Kinetic Sandline. So cute. So this is Kinetic Sand and it's totally playtime. Firstly, made of 98% real sand, like sand from the beach. It's a moldable compound, which also makes it a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it acts in liquid-like state and then you can compress it and it can act like a solid. This feels so cool. <laughs> like it kind of feels like sand, but it's so fluffy. What is Project Planet all about? There's coral reef, there's turtle beach, and there's deep sea. And they're created, most excitingly, with 100% ocean-bound recycled plastic and with FSC-certified paper packaging materials. Today, we're experimenting with a new character. I really want to add a shark. Ooh, that's a great idea. I think we can make one. This is what the designers were able to create for our shark friend. Shark Chopper, what a great name. So this is saying that it needs to be three parts. So you can see that these added details here, I can even select the inside. And I noticed that they made this part jagged. Mm. Was that to mimic shark teeth or? Mm -hmm. This is like a design feature that they added. They could have made it just straight, but because it needs to be that part line anyways, then might as well make it scary teeth. Do you think our shark has a chance at making it? Definitely has a good shot. Let's go do the 3D print machine and see what happens. My design is done. Oh yeah, this shark could definitely be part of Project Planet. Favorite part of my job, I think it's always the moment where you get to see the final product in the hands of kids and just see how happy they are because um, so much work goes into it behind the scenes. Vanessa has been engineering toys for over five years now. She's setting an example in the lab and in her personal community. You started an organization when you were an undergrad. Can you tell me about that? As a queer woman of color, it was really important for me to find my own community when I was, you know, 18, 19 years old and just looking for peers at the university stage. But it really evolved into something so much more that we really needed to pave the way for other people who look like me or share some part of my identity to find their own space and comfort in engineering. So I founded an organization called EngiQueers Canada. This is basically a group that helps advocate for queer inclusion in the engineering space all across the country. What advice would you have for young people? Definitely take an engineering like mechanical, electrical, or materials, and then just stay really creative because we need that in the toy field. 